2024 Advent Calendar brought to you by Adafruit. If you notice, there's a little floppy disk there. That's because it's all about retro computing. You can post yours, um, pound retro computing on any of the socials, pound first computer, pound electronics. And the reason that we have this is because we're going to kick it off December 1st, day one, with the Apple II. Yes. This was your first computer. I, I think it was, yeah. I mean, I think it was the first computer I, it was in um, school. They, my school had an Apple II lab. It looked a lot like that. I think the floppy drive were on the side. Yeah, this is ours uh, that we have here. Yeah, we, we, we picked one up. Um, there's the Apple II, the Apple IIe. I think the Apple IIe is what we use. I'll be honest, I don't remember the exact variant. Yeah, we get the little... Um, they had the diskette. And um, I learned, like, there was a touch typing with, yeah. like, Mesa Beacon teaches typing. And it was Odell Lake. And there was Number Munchers. And there was uh, Oregon Trail. It's, like, very meme-like now. But at the time, this was... So did you type programs in? I didn't. I did. You know, I didn't. We didn't have these kinds of labs. We had, like, you know, software from, like, MECC and other common companies. And we would... There was, like, educational software. It was, you know, it's a hindsight... It was very um, interesting how aggressive um, Apple II's were. Like looking at the pricing, like like the disk drive itself was two thousand um, dollars, and yet these computers were in the school. Everyone got an hour a day to like learn and play. It's fascinating. Um, considering that previous to this, like computers were only used by. By industry, so would Chromebooks be maybe the same? Like, is a su sort of subsidized? It, it is, training? but it, it kind of isn't. It was very. Um, so I feel like people have more access to computing now, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's still kind of possible. It's kind of it's very interesting now to, to think like you know forty eight years ago, how how much um, how many computers were in my life, considering how new they were. Um, I think, but I think adults, you know, in in my town or whatever in the school district realized like this is the future like kids have to learn computing it's going to it's going to really take over um i think people saw that coming so um yeah i learned i actually learned how to do some programming with logo i remember learning about functions because we had to draw a house in logo like a little square and a little triangle on top and i remember thinking like well i don't want to type out the program over and over again, depending on the size of the house. Like, what if I wanted to, I wanted to build like a street of houses and some were small and some were big on my like little logo display. And the teacher told me like, oh, there's this thing called like a function or whatever it's called, procedure. And they're like, you could use a variable and then scale the size of the house based on a variable. And so I learned, I remember specifically like learning how to do it and then I would draw multiple houses and each one would be a slightly different size. And it was like, I was like, wow, this is kind of neat. Um, so yeah, that was, that was me. Apple. So do you think, um, because we have our project where we're going to have multiple operating systems from, uh, all the years to show our kid, um, are you going to uh, sit in front of a computer, whether it be emulation or an actual, uh, one that we have and show her how to do it? Yeah. I think like, you know, we have that project we did where we did a bunch of like emulated, like how to emulate multiple old computers. We have like, actually have an Apple two and I have an Apple two like clear enclosure yeah i feel like the apple II is actually like to this day is very friendly like the games are very friendly for young kids yeah. the only thing ironically is like you know the copy protection was insane and so we'll have uh, to crack it you know like now as you know 40 somethings we have to like use all of our brain power to like crack the software for like you know burger time so since we have a physical one, do you want her to put in the disc and like click? Yeah, I will totally like, like but, but like you know, you can't the discs themselves are dying. So it's like, you know, we might do a disc emulation, like we've been doing disc emulation. Well, we could copy it onto another one, right? And just have it Well, y yes and no. It's like the you have to use like index sensors and yeah. stuff to um duplicate. Because again, it's like the copy protection was insane. You know what we could do? We could have her put the disc in. And whether it works or not doesn't matter, but then we'll just show the emulator. But she'll see, she'll have the experience of putting... No, no, I think it will be on an Apple II. Yeah. It's just that, like, the, the diskettes themselves, it's like, I don't know if they work, you know, it's like, yeah. they're not making them anymore, and, like, they start to flake. Okay. 
So I don't, and then you have to do the cloud protection like style. Yeah. Apple. It's like, there's a lot. It's like, it's not, it's not easy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> a lot, a lot will go into it for this easy experience. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So that's day one. We're going to do one every day for the month of December. Post yours. Don't forget. Um, we'll be looking for these. We might highlight some. So pound first like computer, like, pound first computer, pound electronics. Yeah, the Macs, the Mac Plus and the Mac SC30 that I use, like, is considered retro. But I still don't consider them retro. I'm like, no, the SC30 was, like, a modern computer. But, like, obviously it's not. It's, like, yeah. 35 the, the definition of retro, um, I'll probably get in trouble because I'm going to have, well, with the gatekeeping jerks that don't want anyone to do retro computing, um, because it's all theirs, uh, but I'm going to expand it to other things too, you know. Um, like, I don't some... like Windows 98 to be web but, trip. But it is. But it is. Yeah, and and like it or not, there's going to be new people that are going to come into retro computing, and uh, the old guard, you can welcome them with open arms, or you can uh, go away. because I feel like anything, you know, it's like the joke, like your music taste ends at like, you know, age like 23 or whatever. Yeah. I feel like anything that's before when you were 16 is retro. So it like travels with your age. Yeah. Well, so, you know, we're, we'll show this in another show, but we have a, a sidekick um, a little uh, phone from Danger that was later T-Mobile. So that's a retro phone. Like, let's retro, that is a retro phone. It's before. That was retro from the moment it was launched. But, it, but it's a retro phone. It's like, you know, 20 something years ago. And if we do a retro phone thing, that's going to be in there. It's not just going to be a rotary phone and a pay phone. There's going to be, you know, some of the first mobile phones that were, there'll be a StarTech, of course. Yeah. But um, right. yeah, anyways. We can, so do it. we can do an advent of mobile phones. We're going to do it. And one of microchips and one of a lot of things. But this is the first one because we want people to participate. Post up your first computer, pound first computer. Pound Retro Computing, Pound Electronics. And don't forget, we're doing this for the entire month. Lady, thanks for showing off the Apple II. What's going on on your desk? Okay. So back to my desk.